Okay, Izzy, start your stopwatch. Okay. Go. Go. So a lot of mornings I'm out late for work and so I gotta hurry get my chores done. So that's what we're gonna try to do this morning. We're gonna see how quickly I can get my chores done. The thing is, is that a lot of people who homestead, they got jobs, whatever, and the question is like, can I get it all done? And I've figured out some ways to be more efficient and be more faster huh? to get things done more quickly. So that's what we're gonna do this morning. Gonna start off with getting the cow started milking and this is soapy water to clean her udder. Cloths to clean her udder. This is the air hose for the milker and I keep it inside overnight when it's cold cause if I don't, it's really stiff in the morning. Okay, let's go. Maddie's waiting for us. Maddie's waiting for us. I started out a little later this morning so it'd be light outside to do this. Usually when I come out here, it's dark. Milker's ready to go. She gets some grain at milking with some dried kelp in with it. A lot of good trace minerals in there. Maddie, get out of here. I don't want her to start eating before she's ready. Get out of here, Maddie, go. All right. And some hay for when she's done eating her grain. Come on, girl. Her udder is a little messy this morning. Tell you what though, even when her udder is a little messy, it's so much easier to clean it with having trimmed her hair. Whoa, little girl. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get her started milking. And then while she's being milked, we're gonna quick run and do the chicken chores. So every day it's Cade's job to fill up this bucket of feed for the chickens so I don't have to do it in the morning. A little chilly today, but I want them to have some fresh air. Okay. This is a vitamin D supplement. I found that it really, really helps with their eggshell quality. So I've got two sets of waters out here. There's one inside there that's probably frozen, probably froze during the night. But I'll bring that out here, and then if it's gonna be really cold during the day and not thaw out, then I'll take it up to the house so it can thaw out. It was cold, it was warm enough yesterday morning that I just brought these out, emptied them, and then they're ready to go for this morning.
Only other thing to do in here is pick up the floor eggs, which is so frustrating. Okay. These actually weren't frozen, so I can empty these, have them ready for tomorrow morning. Okay, let's go. Okay, now it's about the time that she's getting close to finishing her grain. So I give her some alfalfa pellets. And this one quarter here gets empty a lot faster than the others. So I pull this one off and drop the milker down a little bit so it's got a little more tension to empty these out. Now while that's still going, I'll give her some hay. This is my hay barn. I don't have other space to put hay, so I just get this thing loaded up and leave it in there. Okay. Hey, peaches. She still won't let me pet her. This is a hay feeder that I made. This thing works great. So I've got round bale up in the pen up there, but I like to be able to give them this alfalfa. These are floor bales from a friend of mine that I can get really cheap. This alfalfa has got a lot of good protein in it, calcium in it. Woo. Helps Maddie's milk production. And this is a really good way to feed it. You see there's some waste around it, but this is waste from like several months of eating hay. I think it's pretty good. All right. This one's done. These two usually take a little longer. So while that's still finishing, next thing I do is clean the manure out. and we'll spread a little bedding. I've been using hay for bedding, which seems a little crazy, but I was able to get this hay for really cheap. It was like $2 a bale. That's cheaper than I can get straw, so that's what I've been using. I like to keep it pretty clean because that just helps keep her udder clean. All right, one more thing before she's done milking. These are some minerals that she gets every day. Some expensive minerals, it's supposed to help keep her healthy. It's called Concept Aid, which is supposed to help her uh, be more ready to conceive, to get pregnant. But I've had such a problem with that. I did just get her bread though a couple days ago, so in a few weeks, we'll be able to try another pregnancy test. I really hope this time. All right, Maddie, are you about done? Her hair loss is worse. Still haven't figured out what to do. Should at least start with putting some diatomaceous earth on her. 
Hey, girl. All right. Once it gets close to the end like this, just pull down on the cup a little bit. That helps clean her out a lot faster, a lot better. Come on, girl. Good girl man. So now that we're done with the milking, we're gonna take the milk inside, strain it, and get it in the freezer to start cooling off. Then we're done. Let's go. Camera fogged over. Took a few minutes, so we stopped our stopwatch, but it's going again. Next thing is to get the milker clean. I still go back and forth about the milker. I really like it because it makes them able to do the chores this fast. While she's being milked, I'm able to do the chicken chores. And that helps get things done a lot faster. And I still do enjoy doing my chores in the morning. I mean, they're kind of a pain sometimes, but I do enjoy it, but it's not quite like sitting by the cow and hand milking. So I just rinse things off with cold water. And then we're gonna fill this up with hot water and soap and wash it off. It took me a while to get kind of a routine with the milk milker cleaning. It works pretty good now. I don't know how it is with the other style of milker that most people get, but with this belly milker, there are relatively few things to clean. And I like that it has such short hoses where the milk goes through. On the mornings that I go to work, I clean out the milker like this. I clean off the top part, but then I leave the milk for Michelle to strain and get in the freezer and then she washes the milk bucket. Saturday and Sunday, I clean this and I strain the milk. So once that's scrubbed out, then this can be rinsed and we will be ready to strain the milk. I am very picky about being very clean, but I'm not worried about being so sanitized and sterile. That is not a big deal like a lot of people make it out to be. The jugs, the lids, She's only given about two gallons of milk right now. Makes it pretty quick and easy to strain. But it is a bummer we are work. But it is a bummer we are running short on milk for our herd share members. This funnel right here is awesome. We got this from Shenandoah Homestead Supply, and it works so good to strain the milk. We used to use a little funnel on top of another funnel with the filter in between. And that worked okay, it could definitely get the job done, but it takes longer to go through and it's just a lot more hassle to deal with. Have you ever had warm raw milk? good stuff this funnel is also really nice because it fits into a wide mouth jar some of those other big funnels they work good they don't fit into a wide mouth jar like that so if you want to do like half gallon mason jars this works perfect for that we're going to put a sticker on the milk jugs for the date we got these sticker guns a while back we use them for our egg cartons it works so much better than using tape or writing stuff on there whatever so these are going in the freezer now Now how about a celebratory drink? I know some of you are gonna think this is disgusting, but I think it's really good. And it's so good. All right, this needs to go in the fridge yet. And we are all done. Izzy, what time are we at? 31 minutes. 
So actually here in the editing process, I took out the parts that I was just messing with the camera or something like that, and it got down to 27 minutes. Now 27 minutes to do the milking, feed the cow, clean out her stall, and then also to take care of chickens. And that's enough chickens that we can sell eggs from. So we're making money on the eggs and we're getting all that milk and everything from a cow in 27 minutes a day. Now obviously that doesn't include like going to get hay and going to get feed and there's obviously lots of other things that goes along with it. But 27 minutes a day, that's pretty doable, right? <laughs>